news. My next guest checked the charts and he says margins are at extremes. He's got three names that could be poised to rally. Let's welcome in Ari Wald. He's managing director and head of technical analysis at Oppenheimer. Uh, real quick, Ari, which kind of margins are you talking about? That's a good question. I, I don't know what types of margins uh, I'm talking about. What I'm talking about <laughs> is this. I think it's important to uh, acknowledge that uh, the market, it, the, the bear, it's very bearish trading going on in the market right now. Point two, we've been on the view this is a bear cycle. Don't think it's run its course either. I think this continues through the week, summer months. Uh, the point we want to stress here, Kelly, is that with the S&P 500 down 22 percent from its January peak, down 10% month to date. I don't think today is the day to be making any overly bearish calls on the market. Uh, even down cycles don't go in a straight line. I think there could be some intervening rallies in between. And yeah. um, perhaps even for long-term investors looking for some opportunities on the sell-off. Okay, and I see now where this is coming from because you, you, you're saying market indicators have reached marginal extremes. So yes, like you're saying, it feels extreme. It is extreme uh, by some measures. But you also say we haven't attained a deep enough condition to suggest that a major low has formed still. Uh, that That is still correct. I, I think uh, the, that our indicators, as, as you set up there now, I understand as well, uh, have reached kind of at a minimum uh, levels that we'd like to see to, as terms of our market bottom checklist. I think they can be deeper. Seasonals are still poor. So you still have these headwinds going against us. But ultimately, we are the view that this does set up the secular bull market's next big opportunity as we think about the fourth quarter. Uh, so really, it's how do we get there? How do we weather the storm in the intervening period? I think it really is based on time horizon. I wanted to talk about three sectors today with you. Uh, two, in terms of just leadership of the market, like utilities and materials that are showing relative strength and rank mm. high in our momentum work. And in terms of long-term rota uh, rotation, for those that can see through what should be some additional bouts of ongoing volatility, uh, I think tech, probably more so large cap tech, uh, does set up uh, um, yeah, as far as an opportunity for the long term. Okay, great. And you have specific names here. So on the utility side, DTE Energy and Materials, Reliant Steel. And then in, in big tech, you are talking about Apple. What do you see happening with Apple here? Yeah, so it's still in the penalty box, if you will. It's going to get whipped around by this weak market here. It's below its moving averages. What I like about it or, or what's showing up for us is how it's performing versus the overall sector. If you were to plot Apple versus the tech sector, it uh, broke out to the upside on a relative basis. It's corrected back into support. So this leads me to believe that Apple should begin to produce alpha again versus a relatively weak tech sector. Here's the thing with, so tech is a low momentum area of the market. It's been a key laggard. It's a, a culprit area. It's dragged on this market almost most heavily. Uh, the thing with low momentum, it typically underperforms into a major market low and then shows very strong returns at the turn of a cycle. It makes for good rotation. So th that could still be a fourth quarter idea. You still need interest rates to abate here. No signs of that today. You still need the market to stabilize. So again, this is a longer term idea. But I think the large cap tech side versus, say, small cap tech is better positioned to work over the long term, given what we're seeing and how stocks like Apple are performing versus their peers and versus the overall sector. All right. We'll leave it there. I mean, it, finally, is there anything you'd read into the fact that utilities and materials are breaking out? What does that tell you? Tells us low volatility exposure remains warranted. We've seen this risk off rise in interest rates and utilities do well. And on the materials, uh, commodity, um, metal side, we, you know, Reliance Steel, we mentioned, um, a, a hedge here, should these inflationary pressures continue to linger? Uh, some of these stocks breaking out of levels from a year ago, consolidating, wow. holding their 200-day average. And look, uh, set up to continue to work here in this environment. All right. I'm being hypnotized by the charts behind you. It's very soothing. Just why, Or maybe it's not soothing, depending <laughs> on how you're positioned. Ari, thanks for all your ideas and for Bye. your time today. Appreciate it. Ari Wald from Oppenheimer. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.